What's up everyone? So today we're going to be making a YouTube video and this is a little different from what I normally do. I was going to make a knife review but instead I thought let's try something different. So my friend, you may know him as Fat Horse Productions, another YouTuber, uh, he made a video a while back where he punched things with brass knuckles which included but were not limited to a coconut, uh, a tree, and I think uh, a stump. I'm not sure about the stump. Point is, he ended up hurting his hands a bit, which honestly was kind of funny. So here I am, and I don't have a pair of metal uh, brass knuckles. I have what is legal in Canada. These are made out of plastic or G10. Point is, they're not metal, so they are legal to own in Canada. You cannot carry them. You can't, you know, hurt people with them, but they are legal to own for a collection. Now, I'm in my backyard, so I'm not technically carrying it around. But we're going to punch some stuff with these. Um, so, let's figure out what we want to punch. Now, we have a wide range of things around here. We have trees in the back. Oh, I thought I heard some. We have trees in the back. Got some bike parts there. We got a bit of a fence. We have a metal container right down here. You know what? Let's punch the metal container first. Let's hope my knuckles don't break because I paid $70 for these. And if you're wondering why they're taped up, I did that so it'd be a little more comfortable in my hand. So, all right. So, first thing to punch, this right here. I'm going to grip them in my hand. You wear them over your knuckles. You don't wear them like that. You wear them like that. All right. So, here we go. That actually didn't hurt my hand at all. I, it might be because I got the tape on there, but it didn't really hurt my hand. And I punched that fairly hard. And the thing about brass knuckles or knuckle dusters is when you punch something, the force is concentrated on a smaller area as opposed to your entire fist. That's why they do much more damage. Uh, they're not broken, but they are marked up a bit. What else can we punch? Let's punch the wood fence. Now that kind of fucking hurt my hand. Shit. Uh, but thanks to the tape being on there, it didn't hurt as bad as it would have should it have been bare. Uh, once again, they're not broken, but um, they are scuffed up a bit. Uh, it did leave some marks on the fence. Those two black spots? Yeah, it left those, so pretty cool. It even dented the fence in a bit. All right, so I want to punch at least one more thing before I end this video, and this is for entertainment purposes. So if any of you have anything mean to say, you can go fuck yourselves, all right? I'm doing this for my viewers who enjoy seeing this kind of stuff, and that's why I'm doing it. Any haters out there, go away. We don't want nothing to do with you. Well, how about we punch a tree? Let's go for a walk. Just over here to the fence. Alright, so we got a fence here and everything, we have a tree, let's punch the tree, that was weak, let's go again. Yeah, it kind of does hurt my hand when I punched a tree with these, um, however, I'm very happy they did not break, I was worried they would break, because uh, a YouTuber, another Canadian YouTuber, Skalagrim, he made a video of the plastic knuckles punching the fake zombie heads from Zombie Go Boom and his plastic knuckles broke so maybe these aren't plastic uh, they're not metal just for the record they're not metal so they are legal to own you cannot carry these in Canada but you can buy them and collect them as long as they're not metal these are made out of G10 some type of really tough composite so I'm happy they didn't break in fact they got some gunk right on there from punching the tree which is pretty good, right? I'd rather have, you know, the tree gonna mark on them than my hands or than my things breaking. Now this video is a little short and I'd hate to leave you guys with uh, short footage, so let's do something else. This is gonna hurt my hand or break my knuckles. You know, it doesn't hurt my knuckles because those are protected. It actually hurts the palm of my hand more because this area in here, right there, 
is absorbing all of it. But once again, from hitting the brick wall, and I'm not gonna lie, I could punch the wall a lot harder, but for the sake of my own safety, you know, I'm already risking hurting my hand, I'm already risking breaking these, which I really enjoy. I'm not punching as hard as I possibly could, but I am punching hard enough that if I was to, you know, punch somebody, it would probably do some damage. So I'm being fair here, all right? If I had tons of money, I would punch anything I want as hard as possible, go and buy a new one of these, but I don't have tons of money, so that's why. Well, there you go, guys. I punched some things with uh, my plastic G10, whatever you call it, knuckle duster. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, sorry I haven't been uploading as much as I could. I'll try and upload more this week, um, but no promises. Uh, it's just kind of a hobby of mine. I'm not really in it to make the money. I'm just making these YouTube videos as a hobby to let other people know, you know, should they or should they not buy, you know, the knife that I'm reviewing. So anyway, guys, have a great night. Chill out. Have a good night. I could ramble on more and more, but I'm not, so goodbye.